Hey guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to create a component in SolidJS and how to inject that component in SolidJS. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here we have a default application with app component. Now I'll just create some other component for injecting that particular component over our app component. So here let me write one h1 tag which indicates this is my app component and let me save this let me go to browser and you can see app component over here now what I want to do is I want to create another component and I want to inject over here so now instead of using something like h1 like something like a child component or n, n number of elements over here I can write this whole content inside another component and I can utilize by injecting that component over here so that's why we need injection process for this components now how to create a component in SolidJS so let me go here into our structure by creating a folder let me go with a name called as child and let me create a component with child as capital letter and JSX as we are using JavaScript for this SolidJS I am using JSX if you are using TypeScript you can use TSX let me hit enter and now for this we need to create a boilerplate code that boilerplate code I can even copy from here or just you can go here and create a function and that function name starts with child whatever the file name you have and it has to return a JSX content so let me go here and write our JSX over here so let me write a h1 tag with a child component and save this now let me export this to utilize in our app component export I am just exporting as a default and let me use a child that is the name of the function so now whenever I import this JSX file here I'll get that particular component so import I can use something like child and I can use from dot slash child slash child and I can use this child as a component itself so now it is acting like a HTML element but this is a custom HTML element which is created by our solid hence it is called as a solid component let me save this and now go to the browser you can see app component and child component this child component label is coming from here so you can write a number of elements over here and that all elements will be rendered over here but we have to return only one element from this particular component so here we have h1 let me copy this and put it over here let me use h2 but it is showing some error why because here we are returning two different elements we have to wrap these two elements inside a div and we have to return that JSX because every function or every component of solid JS should return only one element instead of two elements let me format this and save this now let me use something like heading and this is something like two let me save this now you can see two things app component child component and heading two if you don't want to utilize this div because a div will create a particular element in your DOM if you go here this child has a div over your DOM but you don't want to create this div then in that case you can use an empty tag and save this now it will not create any div for you and all these three elements will be sibling to each other if you go into the root if you go into div and you have these three elements together instead of creating a unused elements we can use empty these are called as fragments in our solid JS so let me save this and see here you can see all the data over here and okay so now we have created this child component as a manual in a manual fashion but our VS code has provided some extension for us that is nothing but solid JS extension so you can search for solid JS and this is the one which I have used in my code that is solid JS snippets so this snippets helps us to create our own components in a easy fashion for example let me create a folder here called as snippets sample and inside this snippet sample I want to create a file and the file name starts with snippets.jsx 
now I gave the snippets as a name over here so we can use something like solid component so this is the keyword which we can use to generate a component directly with this snippets name let me hit enter it created you a snippets function and it has created a default export for us let me format this and not only this the snippets will give you many more features over here if you go into this document inside this document you can see what are the extension labels you can use for creating your boilerplate code for example we have used s comp which created a component for us that is nothing but a solid component there is something called as sf comp which will create an empty flow component and sv comp which will create a void component like this you can create n number of components in your solid js by using snippets and also we can create some set of input variables also inside our solid but we'll see all that extensions and what are the benefits of that extensions in the upcoming videos for now we can create a function by using s comp after installing this extension this makes us very easy to write all our boilerplate code that's why we are using this extension so this is about injecting and creating of the components in solid js Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.